Time is pretty complicated. What is a second? How can you describe a second? It's a bit like a meter. You can't really explain how long a meter is. How about a kilogram? What actually is a kilogram? Firstly, let's start off with time. What is a second? For most of us, a second is how long a clock tells us a second is. Trying to explain to someone what a second is is quite hard. Try to think about what a second actually is without using a stopwatch or a clock. It's quite hard. Since 1967, we have defined the second as the duration of 9,192,631,770 periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between two high-fine levels of the ground state of the cesium-133 atom. Depending on how you look at it, a second is very quick. For example, every second 46,333 YouTube videos are watched and every second 1,666,666 emails are sent. A lot can happen in a second. So what about a meter? What is a meter defined as? Other than using a ruler or a rough gas, the everyday human isn't able to accurately measure a meter. Like a second, the meter has its own definition too. The meter is defined as the distance travelled by light in a vacuum in 1 over 299,792,458 seconds. You can confirm this for yourself right now using some basic physics. Using d equals v times t, where d equals distance, v equals velocity or speed, and t equals time, you can calculate the meter. Now this isn't really helpful for anyone without a ruler who really needs to know how long a meter is, but if you happen to have a vacuum and a really accurate stopwatch handy, you could work it out. A kilogram isn't something which is a constant of nature, but is defined by something physical. Ever since 1889, the kilogram has been defined as the mass of the international prototype kilogram, an object which is made out of 90% platinum. There are many copies of this international prototype kilogram all around the world, in countries like Australia, France, Denmark, Kenya, South Africa, the United Kingdom and the United States. But none of these copies are the exact same weight as the international prototype kilogram. Many of these copies lose and gain weight, but by small amounts. Between 1900 in 1989, some copies of the International Prototype Kilogram have gained between 0 to 70 micrograms. Even the original International Prototype Kilogram weight changes as well. So there, next time you're bored and want to spark up a conversation, see if your friends can define a second or a meter without saying something like 100 centimeters or a kilogram.